right collision theory if you take chemical kinetics this is one of the important theory which will explain what are the factors a reaction has to fulfill in order to produce products let's take this example let's assume that this car traveling on the road and it met with an accident with a truck which comes from the by road if you want to check what are the factors which should be fulfilled to make fatal injuries to the person the person who drives the car so these are the three things you have to fulfill first thing is obviously the car and truck should collide with each other if this truck goes and collide with this clock tower nothing happens to the person who drives the car second thing is even they collide with each other if they come in very small speed like 10 miles per hour there won't be any damage for the person who drives the car but if this collision takes place if the truck comes with 100 kilometers per hour obviously the person who drives the car will end up with fatal injuries which means to make a fatal accident there has to be a minimum speed of the two vehicles third thing even though there is a collision the it will be fatal to this driver only if it collide on this area which means that is is on the front door which is closest to the person who drives the car if you fulfill these three conditions obviously the driver will find he will end up he will end up having fatal injuries right same here. so let's see what are the, we'll, we'll take the summary again first thing is truck must collide with the car that's the first thing second thing is they must collide with each other with a considerable speed that means there's speed minimum speed more than that that speed has to be there so which means we are talking about 80 miles per hour 100 miles per hour third one they must collide with each other in proper orientation so you can remember that it should collide on the position which is very close to the drive that where the driver is seated same way if you take chemical reaction these three factors should be fulfilled in order to get the products what is the first thing obviously now this reaction is a so3 molecule that means sulfur trioxide molecules collide with carbon monoxide molecule so what has happened here is one of the oxygen atom from sulfur trioxide goes to carbon monoxide becoming carbon dioxide so which means that obviously this reaction to take place carbon monoxide should collide with sulfur trioxide molecule so sulfur trioxide collide with sulfur trioxide no point carbon monoxide collide with carbon monoxide no point sulfur trioxide should collide with carbon monoxide which means reactant has to collide with each other second thing even though the reactants collide with each other just like in the accident if they collide in a very slow speed the reaction will not take place so the carbon monoxide should have to have minimum energy where the reaction collision should take place in order to get the oxygen atom out from sulfur trioxide molecule this minimum energy required to make this collision we call it activation energy if you have energy more than this minimum required energy uh, they can perform the reaction third thing now we can see that in carbon dioxide the carbon is the one who's going to get the oxygen so therefore even though this carbon monoxide molecule is going to collide with this sulfur trioxide if it's collide from the side of this oxygen atom that's no point so therefore if the carbon monoxide wants to take oxygen atom from sulfur trioxide obviously carbon atom that side of the molecule should collide with this oxygen atom and uh, then only this oxygen atom get attached to carbon you get carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide which means if you can fulfill these three factors in a reaction in a chemical reaction that chemical reaction can produce products what are the three factors reactants should collide with each other second thing is they should collide with each other with an energy greater than the activation energy third thing the reactants must collide with each other in proper orientation if any reaction fulfill these three factors they can produce products such collision we call them successful collisions right thank you very much